stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. Welcome to another GW Micro How Do I Do That presentation. This presentation is going to talk about how to use the Window Eyes Diagnostics tool that can be downloaded from App Central off of the GW Micro website. This tool should only be used if our technical support department asks you to use it. This app should not be used to send them random Window Eyes Diagnostics as that information is not typically useful to our technical support department without a specific issue that is trying to be diagnosed. So before using this app, the first thing you should do is call our technical support department at 260-489-3671 to find out if using this app would be able to provide our technical support department with sufficient information to be able to resolve any issues that you may be experiencing. The Window Eyes Diagnostics tool will send in specific technical information to our technical support department regarding your system, including your screenshot, uh, your Window Eyes serial number, other technical pieces of data that can help diagnose a specific problem. Again, the first thing you should do is call our technical support department, make sure this can potentially help resolve the issue, and then begin working with our technical support department to be able to try to resolve your particular issue. After you contacted our technical support department and they agree that this is something that may be useful, the next thing you need to do is actually download and install the Window Eyes Diagnostics app. So I'm going to press Windows key and the letter G. It's Windows key and the letter G to open up App Get. That's a Window Eyes hotkey for a Window Eyes app. And it's Cancel key. button. Progressing. And it's going to go out to the internet here and find These ways all of the currently the available apps 0%, 5%, 11%, on our web server. App get. And our App Get app. Uh, loaded, it found all the apps that are available on the GW Micro website currently, so this gives you an up-to-date list. You have to be connected to the internet in order for this to actually work. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the Wii Diagnostics app. So I'm going to press Control F. Name and weather edit box. Dialog app find. And so this brings up the app find dialog, and last time I was here I was searching for an app to do some things with the weather. I'm going to type in WE Diag, no spaces, so W, w E is an echo, e D is in dog, D I A G. I A G. And then I'm going to press my enter key. This will look for that Window Eyes Diagnostics tool. Please wait. All apps 1 alphabetical A W E Diag preview depth 2. Dialog app get. So it found the Window Eyes Diagnostics tool, uh, which we call Wii Diag. I could tab around and listen to the various pieces of information, but I just want to get this installed, so I'm going to press my Enter key. Installed apps I app get version 1.1.8 package app get installed date Friday, February 03. I press Control to silence this. If I do a Control Shift T. Package preview Wii Diag 1.0.8 GW Micro Inc. Okay, that tells me that this is the package preview to install this app. I could find out the default button in this particular app by pressing the delete key on my number pad, which is just to the right of the zero key on the number pad, assuming my number lock is off. Default install my button. So my default button is install, so if I press enter, that's going to install this Window Eyes Diagnostics app. Package installed. Dialog app get. All apps one alphabetical A W E Diag preview depth two. All right, package installed. I went back to my app get app. I no longer need this app get open because all I did was use it to be able to find the Window Eyes Diagnostics tool and download it and install it. So I'm going to press Escape to get out of app get. That's gone. Dialog so Window Eyes Active Explorer dot set associated Explorer dot set minimized. So the next thing I'm going to do is Control backslash to get into Window Eyes. Settings E screen closed one of thirteen preview depth one. Alright, so I'm in the Window Eyes control panel. Next thing I need to do is open up the apps menu by pressing Alt A. That'll open up the apps menu inside of Window Eyes. So I'll press Alt A, because I'm gonna get to the Window Eyes Diagnostics tool this way. Alt A. A. App management to pull down. And I'll press uh, W to use first letter navigation to navigate to Window Eyes Diagnostics quickly. W. Window Eyes Diagnostics W pull down. There it is. It's a pull down menu, so I'll press enter on it. Run Diagnostics R Control Alt Q. So we heard the Run Diagnostics. The hotkey is Control Alt Q. If I down arrow here, 
Problem steps recorder people down. Problem steps recorder. I'll down arrow again. Help an option. Help an option. And down arrow again. Run diagnostics R control alt Q. I'm back to the top. So we have run diagnostics and then the recorder, which we'll talk about uh, after we run through the, the diagnostics here. So I'll press enter on run diagnostics. Beginning diagnostics. Please wait. Menu closed screen closed one of 13. No end button dialog user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes? I'll press control to silence that, but it's a user account control. So I know that I'm in Windows 7. Alt Y is going to say yes. Now, one thing I should note is before we went here, the first thing we would have done is make sure we're experiencing the problem. I don't have a specific problem that I'm experiencing, so I'm just starting it to run you through this, but you should always make sure that you're experiencing the problem before you start to run this because just sending us general information isn't going to do a whole lot. So I'm at this user account control so I'll press Alt Y to accept it. That's the yes button. Dumbasm. Dialog window eyes diagnostics generating diagnostic information. Please so wait. you hear window eyes cancel button making that diagnostic information. Progressing. Progressing. There's a marquee in the background which is why you hear progressing. Complete. Please provide your contact information in case a technical support representative needs to get in touch with you regarding your diagnostic report. Your window eyes username, company name, and serial number will be included automatically. Dialog window eyes diagnostics name required and edit box. It said that this information would be used to, to potentially contact you. You need to call technical support or email them first prior to doing this because if you just send them random reports, that's not going to do a lot of good. Sometimes we get reports that just say, it happened again. Well, what happened? What's it? So you need to contact technical support prior to doing this. First thing it asks for is my name, so I'll just type my name in. J-E-R-E-M-Y space C-U-R-R-Y. And then press tab. Email required the edit box. I'll type in my email address. J E R E M Y at G double M I C R O period C O M. Tab again. Phone number optional P edit box. And I'll just type in our uh, phone number. Two six zero four eight nine three six seven one. Tab again. Comments limit 400 characters C edit box. I could type in any comments that I wanted here. I could say this is in reference to the support issue that we talked about on a specific date. Any helpful comments that you can come up with, such as how to duplicate the problem, will be very beneficial here. And again, we're already making the assumption that you've contacted technical support and they've asked you to do this. So I'm just going to type in some basic comments here. Period. If you don't type in any comments, it doesn't allow you to send. After you've typed in some comments, press your tab key. Send this button. There's send. If we tab again, save a button. There's save, and then the next one would be a cancel button. So you could save this particular information if you wanted to to your system, but we actually want to send this to our technical support department. So I'll do a shift tab. Send this button. So there's send. I could press space or enter here. Space. OK button. Dialog window eyes diagnostics. Your diagnostic information has been submitted successfully. Thank you. Default OK button. A very nice way to send all of the technical information to our technical support department that they require. So they just got a screenshot along with other technical information regarding your computer system to help make this diagnosis of whatever issue you're experiencing easier for them to resolve. And I'm going to press space on this OK button. This dialog will close. Space. Settings the screen closed one of 13 preview depth one. And I'm back dialog into window eyes. I'll silence that. And I'm back into the user interface now of, of window eyes. Now I'm going to try the other option we have available here that we talked about earlier. So I'll do Alt A. A. App management to pull down. And W. W. Window eyes diagnostics W pull down. So I did Alt A to open the apps menu. I press W to move to the window eyes diagnostics pull down menu. I'm going to press enter here. Run diagnostics R control Alt Q. That's what we did earlier. And again, you need to be experiencing the problem before you actually go in here. So I'll down arrow. Problem steps recorder people down. Problem steps recorder. This can actually record steps as you're making this issue happen, which means that our technical support department can get even more information to see how this problem can be duplicated. I'll press enter here. Start the recording as Alt F9. There are two options here. There's start recording and stop recording. And Alt F9 starts it, Alt F10 stops it. Let's press enter. Menu closed. 
OK button dialog window eyes diagnostics the windows problem steps recorder is a diagnostic utility that automatically captures screenshots keyboard and mouse input and includes descriptions of the actions you take while the problem steps recorder is running. When the recording begins, take the appropriate steps to reproduce the problem you're interested in capturing. When you're finished, press Alt F10 to stop recording. Select OK to begin, or cancel to quit. Default OK button, cancel button. Now you should really only be using this if you're using Windows 7 and above. Windows XP does not have this functionality because we use some built-in Windows functionality to do this. So I'm going to press Enter here. Recording. Suppose you're having a problem that exists when you open up Microsoft Word, for example. The system's actually recording things, so now I'm going to do a Windows key R. Open O combo edit box. I'll type Dialog in run. WinWord. Double I N double O R D. Enter. Opening Microsoft Word. Document one Microsoft Word. Section one of one style normal page one of one column one. And I press control to silence that. Suppose I experience some issue. Well, now that I've experienced that issue, I can go ahead and stop recording. So I'll press Alt F10, or I could go back into the Windowized user interface and press Enter on Stop Recording, but I remember Alt F10 was the hotkey. Please provide your contact information in case a technical support representative needs to get in touch with you. Your Windowized user name, company name, and serial number will be included automatically. Name required and edit box dialog window eyes diagnostics. This all should sound very familiar. I'll type in my name again. J E R E M Y space C U R R Y. I'll press tab. Email required the edit box. Type in my email. J E E M Y at G D C O S M. Tab again. Phone number optional P edit box. And I'll just leave this one blank this time. We did it the last time. Comments tab limit 400 characters C edit box. So I press tab. I'm here at the comments. And I'm just going to type T H I S. Space I S P E space request R E Q U E S E period. So I'll check and make sure my comments are accurate here. This is for your request. All right, I've done that. I checked that by doing a control number pad five to read the current line. I'm gonna press tab. Send this button. And there's send. I'll press space bar. Space. OK button. Dialog window eyes diagnostics. Your diagnostic information has been submitted successfully. Thank you. Default OK button. This just sent off to our technical support department uh, information with this special recording feature. Again, only use this feature if you're using Windows 7 and above. The other feature you can use in any supported operating system under Windowize. Things to remember, don't send them random reports. Instead, what you need to do is either call our technical support department or email them and ask if this is something that would be beneficial to use. If you just send in random reports, that doesn't help us a whole lot. So. Make sure you call or email them, then you can go through this tutorial and remember how to download and install this app and then how to be able to send these particular items. Thanks for joining us for another How Do I Do That presentation from GW Micro. For any technical support questions, you can contact our technical support department at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com or call technical support at 260-489-3671. Stable, secure, affordable, window eyes.